demonstration of a forward launch and all the pieces that go into doing a perfect forward launch. <sighs> Notice his arms are completely slacked. He is not holding his arms locked like a brick way up in front of him like other people show you. Now, all sorts of things are gonna happen. He's gonna immediately turn and go the direction the glider tells him to go and run the direction the glider goes. He's gonna weight shift properly. He's gonna sidestep under the glider. He's gonna lift the low side riser to steer it up. Remember how we talk about steering with the risers? Do the same thing when you're facing forward. You just do it this way. And all of that's gonna happen instantly with very fine control. Okay, let's watch. Boom, glider came up left. Notice he's pushing the right riser sidestepped a little right, bam, controls the glider, and bingo. And it came up perfect. Why? Not because the glider just happened to come up, but because he made it come up perfect. So this is very, very critical. Doing a no wind forward launch, you do not learn to do a no wind forward launch by doing a no wind forward launch. How's that for weird? The Because if you notice, how much practice did he just get? About six seconds. <laughs> so if you do a no win forward, you get a whopping six, maybe 10 seconds if you run it out a bit. So if you did 88,000 no win forwards, yeah, you could learn the skills. But where you learn to do it is hours and hours and hours of forward kiting and reverse kiting, where you're building the finesse and feel into reflexes so that you work out all of those wrong and over controlling, by time you master just kiting the glider, all of those reflexes will translate into the forward launch. Then all it takes is knowing where to put your fingers and doing it a couple of times. You don't learn to forward launch by doing it because it would be a complete utter waste of time and effort. So it's all about mastering the kiting first and then putting those skills to the test. Uh, a lot of people do it totally backwards and have people try and run forward launches all day. And it's like in a whole day, you get what? Maybe four minutes of actual practice when you add up six seconds and six seconds and six. It's a total, absolute cluster screw and waste of time. But when we go home, so, this is what we're gonna have to do. We, yes, and so <laughs> you will have massive amount of practice with the glider from all of that kiting so that you feel and you know not to bury five feet of break because i've already told you everyone a thousand times not to bury five feet of break okay here we go super trevor watch a little closely boom turns goes to the left he's still lifting the left riser bam so you weight shift he leaned away from the low side so he weight shifted to the high side he sidestepped he turned he lifted the low side riser, added pressure to the low side riser, and he kept it loaded the whole time perfectly, and he has all the precise little feel in the brake. You're pretty much flying no hands when you do a no wind forward. So again, you know, people ask, why do we do no hands kiting? Well, what do you think a no wind forward is? If you touch those brakes when the glider's coming up, you stall it, it's done. So that first run to get it up to four or five mile an hour of airspeed is done almost completely with no hands as you run. So you'll notice he doesn't even touch the brakes until the glider's literally flying. What is, what's the line that he has over his hand? That That's your A. So he's gonna lift the A, but notice he's not gonna pull the A's. He's gonna let his arm relax. So watch how hard he pulls in the A's. Bam, he doesn't even hit them until the glider's on the way up. And then he lifted them, he yeah. didn't pull them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very, very important because if you pull A's, you will literally fold the glider in half like a taco. So it's incredibly important to feel and lift. And a lot of it is you're just having your fingers there so you know where the glider is because your hands are on the risers. So if it's going left, you know to lift the left only and not continue to accelerate the right. Lift the low side. Boom, woo! And that is what happens when you pull. See, when he pulls the A's, it literally wads the glider up in a ball. And people don't even realize they're doing it. Over and over and over they do it. And they wonder why the glider comes up cockeyed and sideways and they have no idea. 
That's why. So, would that be the same thing if you're pulling on the A's instead of lifting it? You nailed it. That's why the glider's coming up totally skawampus is because you pulled the A's and the glider was folded in half. And they don't want to fly that way. 